This will be for the CUDA worksheet, Properties of Parabolas. So I'm going to give you these notes, okay? Um, if we have a quadratic equation, the graph is a parabola, okay? So the equation y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, that's a quadratic equation in standard form, all right? Now, the definition of vertex, that is the highest or lowest point. So, in other words, it's going to be a maximum or a minimum. All right. Now, when we have our equation, if A is positive, the parabola opens up. Okay, so if this value of A is positive, the parabola is going to be shaped like this. It opens up. And the vertex, we said, was the highest or lowest point. Okay, so that would be this point right here. And if the parabola opens up, that means the vertex is going to be a minimum. It's going to be the lowest point. Okay, and if A is negative, again, referring to this A right here in the equation, that means the parabola opens down. Okay, so it's going to be shaped like that. And the vertex is going to be a maximum. So the vertex would be this point right here. Now, a is always the coefficient with x squared. And um, I just mentioned right here, h comma k are the x comma y coordinates for the vertex. Okay, so that's why I labeled it h comma k. H is the X coordinate and K is the Y coordinate. Uh, that's what they typically use, I guess, because the vertex is a special point. So they wanted to use separate letters instead of X and Y. Okay, so the formula for finding H, in other words, the X coordinate of the vertex, the formula equals negative B divided by 2 times A. Okay, so whatever B is, you have to change the plus minus sign of B and then divide it by 2 times A. Once you find that, in order to find K, which is the Y coordinate, plug in the value for H in place of X in the original equation. Okay, so you'll see on the worksheet, you just take the original equation. Once you find H, whatever number you get, you plug in in place of X, and that will give you K. Okay, so in the first section, they want us to identify the vertex of each. I'm going to start with problem number three. So we're just identifying the vertex. Okay, remember when you don't have... A coefficient in front of the variable that it's automatically 1 okay so I'm just going to insert a 1 right here all right and of course the negative sign makes it negative 1 so we're looking to find the vertex h comma k we said the formula for h oh you know what let me label the equation first the equation is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, so we can see our value for a, and we can see our value for b. We don't need c for this. All right, so we said the formula for h is just negative b divided by 2 times a. All right. And you can see that B is positive 18, but we have to change the sign on that and make it negative 18. And then the denominator, 2 times A, which is negative 1. Okay, you can see from the equation here, negative 1. So we have negative 18. And 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Negative divided by negative is positive. So that's going to be a 9. Okay. 
So in order to find K, you take the 9 and you plug it in in place of X. All right. So that is instead of uh, instead of Y, I'm going to write K because K is the Y coordinate for the vertex. Okay. So in order to find K, we're just plugging in 9 in place of X. So that's going to equal negative x squared, which is 9 squared, plus 18 times 9 minus 75. And I'll do this on the calculator. Okay, doing this on the calculator, I get positive 6 for k. So that's it. So they asked us to find the vertex. And the H is 9 and the K is 6. All right, this is H comma K. So checking my answer, that's correct. 9 comma 6 is the vertex. All right, I just want to point something out real quick. Notice in the equation we have negative x squared, okay? And notice that I kept the negative outside of the parentheses. I squared it first, okay? So make sure you understand negative x squared is not necessarily the same as negative x squared, okay? In this case, the negative is outside of the parentheses. See, I squared it, and the negative is outside, all right? So just as an example, we did, we did negative 9 squared, and that equals negative 81, okay? If I had done negative 9 and squared it, that's going to be positive 81, okay? So you don't want this. You want to do it this way for these types of problems. Okay, so please pause the video and try number four. Use negative B over 2A. All right, so this equation, as always, is in the form AX squared plus BX plus C. So we can see the value for A is negative 3, and the value for B is positive 12. All right, so the formula for H... Negative B divided by 2A. So B is positive 12. We're going to make it negative 12 divided by 2 times A, which is negative 3. Okay, and we have negative 12. And 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And negative divided by negative is positive. Okay, once you find your H, you plug it in. You plug it in in place of X, okay? And in, like I said before, instead of Y, I'm going to call it K, okay? K is just the y-coordinate of the vertex. Remember, we said it before. k is just the y-coordinate for the vertex. So k equals negative 3 times x squared. We're plugging in 2 in place of x. Plus 12 times 2 minus 10. Okay, and I'll just do this on the calculator. Okay, and I get positive 2. So this was H, and this was K. So the vertex...
is just two comma two. Okay, so some more notes. The definition of symmetrical, that means it's the same on both sides. Okay, for a parabola, the axis of symmetry is the x-coordinate of the vertex. It cuts the parabola in half. All right, so say you have a parabola here. It can open up or down. Okay, the axis of symmetry, this dotted line here in red, is the axis of symmetry. Okay, it cuts the parabola in half. It goes right through the vertex point right here. Okay, and the equation for this line is just the x-coordinate of the vertex. Okay, so whatever you get, whatever you get for the value of h, that number is your equation for the axis of symmetry. So it can be like x equals 5, x equals negative 2, because it's just a vertical line. Okay, so the equation is going to be in the form of x equals some number. So on the worksheet, you'll see they're also going to ask, ask the minimum or maximum value. Okay, so what they mean by that, the minimum or maximum value, it's just the y-coordinate of the vertex, okay, which is k. So if they say what's the min or, min or max, usually they're referring to the point x comma y, but since they said value, they just want the y-coordinate, okay, because the y-coordinate determines how high or low the point is. Okay, so for this section here, they want us to identify the vertex, axis of symmetry, and min-max value of each. All right. So we're going to start the problem just like we did in the first section. Okay. So this equation... ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, so let's start by finding the vertex. Okay, we have a equals 3 and b equals negative 54. So the formula for h, negative b over 2a. Okay, so we start with a negative and the value for b is negative 54. And that gets divided by 2 times A, which is positive 3. Okay? Two negatives in a row make it positive, so that's positive 54. And 2 times 3 is just 6. And 54 divided by 6 equals 9. Okay, you take that 9 and you plug it in. So here it says f of x. That's the same as y equals. Okay, it just means function of x. But instead of y, now we're using k. K is the y-coordinate for the vertex, and we're plugging in 9 wherever we see an x. So it's going to be 3 times 9 squared minus 54 times 9 plus 241. And I'm going to do this on the calculator, and I get negative 2. Okay, so really this part is not much more work. All right, the vertex is going to be 9, comma, negative 2. All right, and remember from the notes, we said the axis of symmetry is going to be the x-coordinate of the vertex. All right, so I'll just abbreviate it, AOS axis of symmetry that's going to be x equals 9 okay 
And finally, the min-max value we said is the y-coordinate. So it's uh, negative 2. All right. Now, one thing, one more thing we said before for the value for A, if A is positive, it opens up, right? So since A equals negative 3, that means the parabola opens up. Okay, so the parabola is going to be like this. All right, it opens up, and that means the vertex point is going to be a minimum. Okay, so that so they're saying the min or max value. Well, we know it's a minimum since the parabola opens up. So the minimum is going to be y equals negative 2. Okay, so it's really not much extra work. Okay, we're just using the coordinates from the vertex to answer the other questions. All right, so this is basically it right here. So they didn't ask us to graph it, but just to give you an idea for the axis of symmetry, all right, in my little sketch here, the axis of symmetry would be like this. It would be going right through the vertex and cutting the parabola in half. And the equation for that line would just be x equals 9, okay, because it goes through the x-coordinate 9. And... That's our answer right there. But they didn't ask us to sketch it in this section. They just asked us to find those three values. Okay, so please pause and try number 17. And I'll give you a hint for number 17. When you divide fractions, for instance, let's say you have, uh, let's say you have 3 divided by 5 fourths. Okay? What you have to do is invert the denominator and then multiply instead of divide. Okay, so you have a 3 in the numerator. You keep the 3. You can make it 3 over 1 if you want. And then instead of dividing, you multiply. Okay, and you take the reciprocal of the bottom. So instead of 5 over 4, it becomes 4 over 5. Okay, I believe the way... You guys learned it. It's, it's called keep, change, flip. Okay, so you keep the numerator. You change division to multiplication, and you flip the denominator. All right, and that would be 3 times 4 is 12, and 1 times 5 is 5. Okay, that's not the answer for this problem, but you're going to have to do that on this one. Okay, so for this one here, we can see that A is one-fourth, okay? It's this whole fraction right here. And B is going to be a negative one, all right? So for H, we're doing negative B over 2A. So B is negative one. It's going to be the negative of negative one. Okay, and 2 times A is going to be 2 times 1 fourth. Two negatives in a row make it positive. And 2 times 1 fourth, that's the same as 2 over 1 times 1 over 4. Okay, so 2 times 1 is 2, 1 times 4 is 4. And reducing that fraction, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2, okay? Or you can just cancel before you multiply. You can cancel the top and the bottom. 2 divided by 2 is just 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2, okay? But you'll still get the 1 half. And that 1 half goes in the denominator, all right? And now we can use the uh, keep, change, flip, okay? You keep the numerator, you change division to multiplication, 
and you flip the denominator. So 1 over 2 becomes 2 over 1. Okay? So basically, it's just the same as 1 times 2, which is 2. So as always, you want to plug that in. And instead of y equals, I'm going to make it k equals. So that's going to be 1 fourth times x squared, which is 2 squared, minus x, so it's minus 2, and plus 9. Okay, I'm going to do that on the calculator. Actually, I could do it in my head. 2 squared is 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Plus 9 is positive 8. So the vertex is going to be 2, comma, 8. Okay? The axis of symmetry... That's the x-coordinate of the vertex. So it's just going to be x equals 2. Okay? And now, finally, we have to determine if it's a minimum or a maximum. Okay? We can see that a is positive. It's positive 1 fourth. Okay? a is positive. That means the parabola opens up. Like so. That means that vertex point, it's going to be the lowest point. So that means it's a minimum. Okay? So the minimum value is the y coordinate. So it's just y equals 8. And that's it. So it's still just finding the vertex, it's a, just a tiny bit more work. You don't necessarily have to draw this picture in order to show work, okay? Maybe you should write the, like, A is positive or A is negative, and then say if it opens up or down. This is how I know that you know if it's a min or a maximum.